We're at Bucky's. <laughs> So as you can see, it is still ridiculously foggy out here. Not cold though. Ooh, no, not at all. It's like 68 degrees. Yeah, like, and it's not really like windy windy other than like the breeze from the water. Well, so, well spring break starts in a week down here apparently. Yeah. So we're going to be here in the middle of spring break, but yeah, she said this week before spring break right now is not good weather wise, but I guess it's fitting since Galveston is like spooky. all the spooky <laughs> haunted houses and things like that. We might go, we might go do something like that this week. We'll see. Well, they have some like really amazing mansions that some people believe are haunted. I guess Galveston is known for, um, and I don't know, this could be wrong because we haven't done the history yet, but they, um, they, they believe they're haunted. It has to do with the hurricanes in 1900. I don't even know the year. Yeah. So we'll, we'll check it out, though, because I, I know we'll pick one. There's several mansions and different things that you can go. And you can right. actually, I actually want to tour them for the architecture and stuff. They're old. Yes. And they're supposed to be beautiful. So we'll have to decide which one we're going to do. But yep. when we do, obviously, we'll bring you along and yeah. we'll let you know what, the, uh, what it's all about. <laughs> But so far, other than the fog, we're really liking Galveston. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'd like it more if I could see it. Yes, so we're gonna just walk along the beach. Larika's looking for shells and... I'm missing a lot. <laughs> we're missing shells. It's like a little mini jetty. It looks like that's like some sort of fishing area. Uh, kind of a jetty. Maybe they were making it a jetty. Hard to say. But right now it's very slippery out there so we're not gonna go walk on it. So I guess we're gonna turn around and go back and see what the other direction on the beach holds for us because we're pretty much at the end with this big ball here. I do think a lot of the resorts and a lot of the parks along the beach have their own little private areas for uh, beachgoers. It's cool to have the beach entrance right from your RV park, but I think once you get on the beach, you should be able to walk whatever you want. That's how Pioneer was. So then you knew the what the resort we were at in Port Aransas. Then you knew which one, like we need to get off on 35 when we're riding on the beach. I don't like that they block it so you can't continue to walk on the beach. It's definitely a different vibe. Yeah, um, but I mean, it's cool to see the differences. Yeah, even though we've only been here for a day so far, I would say Port Aransas was more of a beach bum vibe. Um, this is more of a beach town, and but we haven't gotten to experience a whole lot of it yet. What thicker one? It's thin. They got a lot of shells on this beach. Wear it, Bucky's. all the videos I've seen everybody talk about it but holy cow you don't really realize how big this place is so we are at the Bucky's in Texas City just south of Houston on the 45 on our way back to Galveston it's like a Walmart really it is I already warned Larico we're getting a Bucky's t-shirt can't come to your first ever Bucky's and not get a t-shirt. 
getting my Bucky shirt and a Bucky's hat for now. And Larika's looking at like housewares and all sorts of things. I mean, there's like a whole fishing department here. And hunting and camping. And I know, there's been a lot of videos out there on Bucky's. I understand. Doesn't mean I still can't be mesmerized. I can't believe you can just stop in here. Actually, I saw a bunch of stocking stuffers I think would be amazing. So I need to remember that for Christmas. But it's like you can just come in here and who knew? Who knew? So the restrooms in Bucky's are everything you've ever heard about it and then some. Obviously I'm not gonna go in there and start filming inside the restrooms, but they are massive, they are spotless. In the men's room and the women's room, because Larika told me, every single stall has its own hand sanitizer um, dispenser. Insane, absolutely insane. We've been here almost an hour already and we're still just stocking up. Only gas station that you're ever going to find with a whole grocery store attached, shopping carts, baskets. There's so much good stuff. And we still haven't even hit the other half of the store. All right, what do we think of Bucky's so far? Very cool. I like Bucky's. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, again, it's our first time, so. Yeah. Not sure if it's going to be one of those places we have to stop at every single one on the highway. It's kind of good to know what they have, though, because like, if you do need to stop and you're like, okay, I can yep. get this now. So, yep. very impressed. Oh, yeah. We're going to go get our sandwiches now and head back home and call it a night. We've been in that store so long, it got dark. Well, we're starving, and yeah. we keep seeing everything to eat, so. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> amazing place. That was fun. Again, I know you guys have probably seen a million videos on Bucky's, but it was our first time, so we had to do it. And we liked it. It very much. So, so we've been here in Galveston for five days. Yeah, right now we are walking on the beach. And this is one of the better weather days as well, far as beach days is concerned. We got up, when we got up this morning, the sun was out, it was amazing. Um, I got up, Kevin slept in a little bit, and I got up and went down and walked the beach because it was glorious. Sun, everything. Beautiful, which in the forecast, by the way, it showed clouds all day. So don't always go by that. I don't know, it's doing its own thing, the weather here. Yeah. Um, but the last, I'd say, what, two days, we've been able to see. When we first pulled in, it was just constant haze and you couldn't even oh. see the water, you could see nothing. Yeah, first, so, three, first three days here, couldn't see anything. Yeah, which was bizarro. So the sun is really struggling behind the clouds now, but it's been a pretty glorious day so we we're like you know what it would have been an amazing day to be on the beach um but we had plans this location has been amazing we just get out of our rv i was so excited yesterday because even this morning when i got up and i put all of our shades up i looked out my kitchen window and i could see the water so um it is so ideal for that because you just walk down the boardwalk and there it is. And you can see it before you even get to it, like I said, from the rig. So that has been amazing. It's a, it's a really great location. This is our third week in the, te in the Texas Gulf. Mm -hmm. We spent the last two weeks in Port Aransas and we were only a few hundred yards from the beach. And we didn't think it could get much better than that until we got here. The RV park is smaller, not as much amenities, not as many things to do. Yeah. However, you're literally practically on the beach. You pretty much, even if you're not backed into a beach site, you pretty much, you can see it from where we are. We're in the middle. Um, yeah, we're three so rows. We're literally three rows from true. the beach. So you can, yeah. So it, that is so convenient. Like we loved Pioneer as well, just because it was a whole different vibe and how you even got to the beach was amazing and the driving on the beach and all of that, which we covered. But that's what we're learning each place has its own unique and special qualities. And that's the things we love to discover about yes. it. You know, you can't go into a lot of places 
with all these expectations or you will be let down. So we just take it as it comes and gosh, it has been so rewarding. We're just kind of waiting uh, just to not be, I wouldn't say it's cold. Like we're walking no. on the beach right now and we have a, I have a jacket on, but. It's just the wind. Shorts and stuff. Yeah, but like before when all the fog and haze was here, it was very um, like wet. And it like not rain, but like a mist. Everywhere you went, it was like a mist and you would get wet, not even like, you know, being in rain. So now it's much drier, um, <laughs> still 90 yeah. some percent humidity, which I'm, I'm just like, I don't, I, we obviously we have some humidity in Arizona, but wow, I don't know how to do humidity. The hair is like, woo. At least it's only, the temperature's only in the 60s. Yeah, I mean, thus the braid because I, my hair is like, woo. Here we are coming to you from another epic bike ride through Galveston. Right now we are about eight miles from the RV park and we're all the way down here at the port. As you can kind of see right here. They call it the Strand, right? Yes. Uh, Pier 21 is what the sign right in front of us is saying. Um, right behind us, I don't know if you can kind of see way back there, there's a cruise ship. So this is where the cruise ship port is. And it's been a great ride through the historic. Yeah, because we are so close to the water, we obviously feel the humidity, but everything just kind of feels wet. Yeah. Um, once you get away from that, even just a little bit, what are we, a few miles? You start to feel it a little bit more with the heat. But anyway, it's been a, it's a good ride. Yeah, absolutely. We passed crazy by- crazy roads. Yes. <laughs> we passed by the Moody House. That's supposed to be haunted, but it looks like it's completely under construction. And I think our next goal, we're gonna go drive by and try to find the Bishop House and maybe a couple of those other ones and just kind of see what they look like and figure out which ones we want to go do a tour of. Okay, so we're here in Galveston, and this is the first chance that we've had that we're allowed to wash our own RV. When we left New Mexico, it was raining, and then once we hit uh, West Texas, we had the dust storms blowing in, and you can kind of see what it what it did. Uh, the last two parks that we were at, we weren't allowed to wash the RV, so this one here in Galveston, we're allowed, and it's wash time, so here we go. You know, when we were home in Apache Junction for the winter, we paid a guy to hand wash and hand wax it and everything else. But that was worth it because we hadn't done that before. But in the meantime, we're just giving it a quick wash. You can do it yourself. Not that bad of a job. about just about a couple hours of work maybe not even and it's hard to tell on the camera but it is nice and clean now I didn't get all crazy and wax it and climb up on the roof and do nothing like that this was literally to get all of the West Texas dirt off of the side of it so it looks okay cuz we've got another drive day in about four days so we did the best we could right now clean the windows clean the rig we're happy with it now I think it's time to go sit on the beach.